Hi, I'm Lee Williams, the gun writer at the Herald Tribune, and I'm here in our studio along with our photo director, Mike Lang, and we're going to do a vest test. This is our third. I get a lot of email and phone calls from readers, especially tactical guys, asking about this glut of inexpensive body armor that's surfaced and that's on the market, and we're going to test one out. We've already done two tests and where we used handguns. This time we're going to use some knives. Now, most ballistic body armor today will offer some protection against edge weapons, uh, so we're going to see if this one will. This is a brand new vest. It comes from Safeguard. They're, at Fort, they're based in Fort Collins, Colorado. And this model is called the Stealth. It's meant to be worn concealed. And there's got a lot of features. I really like it. One, it's, it's lined with Cool Max. So it's going to breathe somewhat. For those of you unfortunate enough to have to wear ballistic body armor on a daily basis, you know how important it is to, to breathe. Also, on the components here, it's got zippers instead of Velcro to take the panels out of the vest. Uh, when you have to wash a carrier a lot, when you sweat in it, the washing will tear up the Velcro. So I like this feature a lot. The zipper, there's nothing to go wrong with it. On front, it's just got two panels of Velcro to adjust it. And you'll notice that the side panels are really wide. It's flexible, there's no ballistic plates in it, and it's meant to be worn concealed. I think I like it. We're going to see now how it holds up against some edge weapons, which the company says it will. Okay, for this test, we're going to use several types of knives. We're going to start with a Benchmade version of the Emerson, and we're going to use a CRKT Special Forces folder, an AK-47 bayonet. I've got about 30 of those laying around the house. Uh, another CRKT sheath knife, a CRKT Hisatsu, which I think will probably go through if anything does. We have a cold steel Kukri, which we'll try a slash on. We've got a saw tomahawk. We're going to try both ends. And finally, we've got the cold steel version of what they call a machete. It's a two-handed, it's got some katana influence on it. We'll see which of these goes through. We've taken the back panel out and taped it to a duffel bag, and then we put a piece of cardboard behind it, so we'll be able to pull the cardboard out and check to see if we have penetration. You ready, Mike? All right. Went in about a sixteenth of an inch. Didn't penetrate at all. That's pretty good. Here's the next one, the CRKT folder. It's the Special Forces model. Again, it went in about uh, the tip of the knife penetrated, but it stopped me cold. Try something else. Here's the AK-47 bayonet. Went in about that far. I'm going to check to see if the uh, cardboard has been cut. And it has not. We'll try something else. Again, we're going in about a half an inch. I'm going to check the cardboard. Nothing. This is a cold steel Hisatsu. I think it's a great knife. It's uh, one of the more popular tactical knives. It's designed after a Japanese knife, and it's meant to penetrate. You can see the blade's thick, the point's narrow, and if this thing doesn't penetrate this vest, I don't know what will. Nothing. Okay, we'll try something else. I got the cold steel kukri. We're going to try a slash, see how this thing does. Okay, I basically cut the outer plastic layer, but the Kevlar is intact underneath. This is the Sog Tomahawk. Uh, brand new tactical. We're going to try both ends. It dented the Kevlar, but it didn't penetrate even the first layer. We'll try the point, see if that goes through. Nothing. Not a thing. I'm impressed. Our photo director just asked uh, why someone would need one of these, and I guess the answer to that is, well, because they, because would probably be the best answer. Uh, this is a two-handed machete, cold steel calls it. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid between a machete and a, uh, and a katana. Um, okay, we'll see what this thing can do. Nothing, not the first layer. We're going to try a thrust. Nothing. Blade didn't even stick in it. Well, I'm impressed. Uh, a lot of people wearing these uh, ballistic body armor or corrections officers where they're worried about getting 
attack with a shank, some kind of homemade knife. We just threw a good selection of modern tactical edged weapons at it and nothing penetrated more than a quarter inch. The vest is still as good, damn near as good as the day it was made. Can't recommend it enough. It's $371 at Safeguard. They make four or five different models. They also make ballistic helmets. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed and I'll probably end up buying one. Thanks for watching.